Hello and welcome everyone to the final stages of Liverpool FC FIFA 23 career mode. We are on our way to win the quadruple this season. Let's see if we can succeed. Previous episode was crazy. We beat AC Milan in the first leg of Champions League semi-final with a 6-0 score. And also we beat Man City which means we are still in the race to win the title. Next up is the second leg of Champions League semi-final against AC Milan. I'll quick simulate it. There we go. We are in the finals. As you can see, this is a crazy scoreline. That too in Champions League semi-final. Now, we are facing PSG in finals. I'm so excited to play against them. Next is Premier League match against Southampton. We are 4 points behind City. We can't afford to lose here. We have to win this, guys. This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. Well, I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Liverpool. It's got to be! Oh, he couldn't mean today is Diogo Jota. Jota. Can he give them the lead? And what a magical save it was! <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. Liverpool in a position of menace. Might be dangerous. Well, the keeper wasn't Liverpool were winners in the last match against Leicester City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, Derek, the Champions League place is there for the taking, but they need to play really... And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Right, Alex has an update for us. I understand somebody has scored at Elland Road, but who? It's the goal for Leeds United. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 28 minutes on the clock. Alex keeping us right up to date. Liverpool have it once again. Southampton losing possession here. In with a chance. And it goes! A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, good. good looking move, this. And close down straight away. Substitution then. Pretty comfortable win it is. Yuta seriously in beast mode right now he scored his second consecutive hat-trick in Premier League right now whenever he shoots the ball it ends up at goalpost I think crazy player he is now right now now here is the big matchup another chance to grab the third trophy this season it's FA Cup final against Tottenham. A wonderful scene here we at Wembley. are in great an form right now. We can upon win the this, guys. For what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Liverpool. 
Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my one today because you're only as good as your last game, but you have to say, it's a great achievement. Putting his body on the line to take the lead, and a goal! Liverpool strike first in the final, and just listen to the fans! Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. Yeah. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Mo Salah. He takes aim. Oh, really close, just... Son. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Short corner favoured. De Frey. It's a perfect challenge. Gives it a go. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Well, Spurs are still in this, but unless they show more composure in front of goal, this is going to be a very frustrating day for them. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Salah! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Now, who can he pick out? A decisive punch by the keeper. Salah. And he takes it all. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So a personnel change then. Salah. There's a slide draw pass. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then Salah's finish is brilliant. It's Liverpool taking on Brighton. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. He had to score, and he does. Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. And it's Salah with the cross. But it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Pedro Porro. Kane. Chances on. Oh, denied. But issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught memories are being made well just look at those scenes down there Derek what a contrast in emotions brilliant for the winners despair for the losers but overall the right team won today yeah you can see what it means to this tight-knit team real solidarity well this is special for everybody at the club what a great... And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now... There we go. We won the FA Cup trophy. Salah...
the king again scored a hat-trick in the crucial matches. Throughout this whole career mode series, Salah has been phenomenal. Now, this is the third trophy of the season. We already got the treble for the domestic trophies. It's time to conquer the Europe. Next up is Premier League match against Brighton. Good news for us guys. As you can see, Man City dropped points in the table. If we win this, we are back at the top spot. Let's win this guys. Considerable interest in Mohamed Salah. A hat-trick in his last game. Can he continue that red-hot form? Hello to you from the south coast of England. The venue for this game is the Amex Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brighton taking on Liverpool. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Palmed away by the keeper. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. A chance to whip it in. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Well, as you can see, Liverpool come into today's game leading the league in goals four. You can't argue with that. Well, they've been devastating on the counter-attack. Their speed of passing and movement has caused opponents so many problems. Today will be another chance to show their qualities against a team who like to control possession. Moises Caicedo. It did look on for them, but not to be. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. Big opportunity. And a goal courtesy of Mohamed Salah. His side in front to their delight. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And what an emphatic... Just the challenge that was required. Gakpo. And he might be through here. Oh, it's in. A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for... Pa and away they go again. Just reflecting on what we saw in the first 45. Joyous football from Liverpool. Alexis McAllister giving it a try the save was a good one did well to win the ball back trying to really get at the opposition here and still trying to get the shot off Textbook defending inside the box. Chance to play it in. Well, as the stats confirm, Liverpool had the lion's share of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even oh, better. Oh, Stuart, here. they might be onto something. And a goal! Oh. Again, it does appear that Liverpool are just about out of sight. Bellingham is it going to be a goal and I'll tell you what on this sort of form very few would lay a glove on them a lopsided contest 4-0 what can they do to stop him running at them oh burying them beneath an avalanche of goals 
No let up here. Oh my goodness, it's so one sided. 5 0 in this match. Harvey Elliott, Grafenberg, and he's in. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely the right sort of contact. Jude Bellingham. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Henderson. In with a chance. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. And the referee blows before time. This goes down as a Liverpool victory. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was... Wow, what a match. Pure demolition. It looks like each player from midfield and attack has scored a goal. Yota, hat-trick again. Third consecutive hat-trick in Premier League. He's literally outclassing other team members right now. Great to see him play like that. Now... We are back at the top spot. So proud to see that next episode will be the final episode of this series. Thank you everyone for supporting this series. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next and the final episode. Keep gaming.